Qatar has committed to generating 1.8 gigawatts of solar power by 2014 and meet 20% of its energy needs with solar in the future. To achieve this impressive target, the country will need to rely on local operators like Qatar Solar Technologies, the new economy's best emerging renewable energy company for the Middle East and Africa 2012. Chairman and CEO Dr. Al Hajri joins me now. Dr. Al Hajri, welcome. Thank you. How does Qatar Solar Technologies plan to meet this 20% challenge? First of all, let's go back to why we created Qatar Solar Technology. Qatar Solar Technology created based on the Qatar National Vision, which is for the 2030 by diversification of source of energy. So, it's already been predetermined that Qatar Solar will be the main Qatar Solar Technology, the main company will lead the development of the industry. So, where do we fit? We fit in the center. And how important is solar energy to the Qatar national vision? Well, in fact, solar energy is, is very important to all nations throughout the world. And uh, Qatar uh, is not different than other, any, any countries. One of the things is just move the country economy from hydro, hydrocarbon base to knowledge base. Uh, and by getting the solar industry or the solar uh, uh, as a source of energy, will 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 bring with it new technology, new research and development, new opportunity for recruitment, new opportunity for development, and also will have positive impact on the climate changes everybody is complaining about it. However, <coughs> I have to highlight here, Qatar is producing the most hydrocarbon friendly to the environment. Liquefied natural gas, gas to liquid, all these kind of product which is compared to the other things, is less harm to the environment. In addition to that, they are going through this solar industry to make sure that any problem with the climate change is very well uh, supported to overcome it and also make the life for the future generation better than the life you and I we are going through. Tell us about your polysilicon plant. How are things progressing? First of all, let me tell you about the size we have in Ras Al Afan. We have 1.2 million square meter. That size, when fully operational, we will be having around about 6.5 gigawatts. So in order to approach the, utilize, the best utilization of the land, we did our project or our plan, strategic plan based on phases. So we say we'll make the phase one, which is about 8,000 tons. That will give you around 1.4 gigawatt. The, the plant currently, construction is going on. We started our construction. We completed more than 2 million uh, mine hours, uh, safety free, uh, problems free, there no lost time accident. The quality is the line what is being set for it. By the end of 2013, we'll, be we'll, we'll start the plant. So let's hope everything will go as, as, as a plan. And uh, I'm so confident we'll do it uh, as we s structure it. Now, to develop the plant, you worked with some key German solar companies. Tell us about these partnerships. Yeah, in reality, we were dealing with too many uh, of, of the stakeholders. Some of them really have direct impact on the organization, like uh, Qatar Al World, which is the leading uh, integrated uh, German company. Uh, they represent 20% of the equity of the Qatar solar technology. In addition, they are also off taker. Uh, and for the 50% of the first, first production. Also, the technology we are using Siemens, the technology provider is Central Therm, which is very leading uh, technology provider worldwide. And the technology we are using, 85% of the polysilicon worldwide are using that technology. However, I have forgotten to mention that we will be producing, uh, commissioning the plant by the end of 2013. There are many interesting ongoing solar projects in Qatar. Tell us about your role in these and the development of them? Yeah, I don't think there are too many companies involved in the solar industry. We are, but there are customers, okay? Uh, so we will be provided. We are the only company producing the solar materials for the panels in the future. And then the rest of it will be utilizing what we are producing. So we have, for example, Qatar Foundation. All their facilities are, for be that uh, convention center or sheriffs or other subsidiaries belong to them. They are using solar industries. Therefore, we will provide them with that. In addition, we have some. We signed a lot of memorandum of understanding between us and Qatar, Qatar uh, with the Kahruma, Qatar Electricity Water Company, City Energy, and, and National Food Security. And maybe you heard that uh, uh, Qatar have already announced that 20% of the future will be utilizing uh, uh, the, from, from the solar as a source of energy. In addition, we will have 1.8 gigawatt starting from 2014, and I think annually we'll be going for 1.5 after that. 
So what's next for Qatar Solar Technologies as you look to the next three, four, five years? I think it's the, the, the future better than what we are today and better than in the past because we're learning, we're going through the, the, the learning curve and we're still young and, we're, and by that time we'll be better than what we're doing than today and we will be meeting the demand the state are looking for it and we will make sure that the vision is reality. Dr. Al-Hajri, thank you. Thank you so much, Nick.